Welcome back to Pete's Workshop. Well, today I'm in the Passat with a bit of a problem to look at. So I've had this problem for a little while where the temperature takes a long time to come up to normal. So normal operating temperature for this TDI diesel engine is around 90 degrees. As you can see, I've had this engine running for 34 minutes and the temperature is still only just over 70 degrees. I have replaced the thermostat and there's been no change. Interestingly, if I put the internal heater on high, we'll actually see the temperature will drop quite quickly. And I've seen this on the highway as well, where I've gone to normal operating temperature, I put the internal heater on high, and I'll actually see the temperature gauge drop. So there you can see, even after a few seconds, the temperature is actually dropping and not rising. I'm not moving at the moment, so I'm totally stationary. I've been out to try and warm the car up for a service. So you can see there, the temperature has actually dropped. It was just above 70 degrees, sorry, 75. And now it's come back and it's almost on 70 degrees. So it's dropping with the internal heater on. So I've just taken the airbox out looking for the thermostat and I believe this is it right here. This is the inline thermostat. So you can see it's got an arrow for the direction. So I'm just gonna do some testing here to see how this is supposed to work. So this is cold water. Funnel's one third full. You can see it's just trickling down. It does have a little bit of head pressure up here as well. Let's warm the water up and see what happens. I'm just gonna put a bit of cold water in it so we don't mix it all or don't put too much temperature onto the thermostat directly. So let's get some cold water in there first. And now we're going to add the hot water. this much hot water in here remembering that we had some cold in there so it's going to take a little while for the warm water to get down let's see what happens it is trickling a little bit too so there's a small bypass and that obviously is so that the water can continue to flow through the system which is important Still got this much water in the funnel. There we go, now it's opening. And that looks like that's fully opened. Whew. Water's gone. So that's how it should work. Okay, so let's do the same test on the unit that I just pulled off the Passat. We'll pour cold water in. Ah, it's just dumping it straight through. So yep, that thermostat is totally open and that is the cause of the problem so i've changed out that thermostat and i've changed the oil so i have started the car a couple of times let's see how quickly it takes for this to warm up i've been travel time 14 minutes the car hasn't really been running more than a few minutes so anyway let's go for a drive and see how quickly the temperature gauge comes up so I've literally just pulled out of the driveway and driven down the road and already I'm up to 82 degrees on the gauge. So that has absolutely fixed the problem. But let's check this if I turn the heater up and crank it to high. 
we shall see the effect that it has on the temperature gauge, if any. I would expect it to drop a little bit because it's going to pull some heat out of the cooling system and put it inside the cabin, but it shouldn't really be noticeable. So let's have a look and see what happens. I can certainly feel that it's getting warm in the cab already. That hot air is pumping through. There we go, the needle did drop back a little bit, but I would expect as soon as I start driving, it's gonna come up again. So I'm gonna keep driving and um, report back. All right, so I've still got this on high. I'm gonna turn that down because it's getting super hot in here. And there we go. So 19 minus 14 is five minutes and it's up to full operating temperature. And that's with the heater going inside as well. So super stoked with that. That has fixed that problem. That means I can move on to other things. Sorry guys, me being me, I wanna know why that thermostat doesn't work. Let's check it out. I think that's the problem is that's totally seized and that should be kind of sprung loaded once it sits in its hole that's the problem it's seized up this piston should move backwards and forwards based on temperature this one's stuck in the fully out position and here is the part number and the part of that replacement thermostat, readily available. This is the thermostat that I replaced in the Passat. As you know, it's not actually an easy job to do, so that was a whole lot of time that was wasted on this, because it's perfectly fine.